Morning my babbers and welcome to my first, not first review, but my first sort of unboxing slash review. Um, recently I have become a big fan of the Fox uh, Camo Light range and so slowly swapping all of my luggage over to over to that ever since buying the, um, the rod bag which I think is a brilliant bit of kit. Um, so today we have got the Aquarius accessory pack, which I'm just going to take you through. So to start with, we have the large case, which has got a real nice handle on it, which is heat welded at the seams. Absolutely no worries about that ever coming apart. Now the zip. I've been playing with this for well, the last 45 minutes. I had no issues with the zip whatsoever. So with the kit inside you get three of the smaller bags, which I'll show you now. And one of the large longer bags. So these three bags are identical. They do do um, a medium sized bag and they are all interchangeable. Um, but with the kit that I bought, it came with the long bag and three of the the small bags. I'll just chuck those two to one side for a minute. So they've all got double zips and the, the usual Fox sort of quality, as you can see. Rigid sides, so anything you put in there, you know, it's all nice, safe and secure. Um, and like I said, you can interchange uh, so I imagine you could you could probably fit one two three four probably five of the medium ones in there if, if that's how you wanted to do it or um, but yeah I mean these look pretty much bomb proof the the plastic material on the bottom is thicker than it is on the sides uh, the same with the large bag so you don't have to worry about dragging it across you know, dragging it across the floor, it's gonna it's gonna last for for as long as as long as you need it. And then on to the slightly longer bag. Um, so again, same design, good quality zips, rigid sides, nice thick plastic on the bottom, uh, and they've all got this, this see through top, so that you can see through. Uh, you can easily you know easily identify what you've got inside um dimensions wise off the top of my head i'm not going to start reading off reading off dimensions but what i will say is it all it's all designed to fit perfectly with their carry all um, and their other luggage bag sets so uh which brings me on to the next product um so the next product to show you will be the Fox Camo Light Low Level Carrier, which my beautiful wife bought me for my birthday, along with uh, this accessory pack. Um, it's not my birthday for another four weeks, but she is uh, definitely a diamond and she's let me have it all a little bit early. Um, so one thing I will say is this all fits in to the the uh, low level carry all absolutely perfectly so you could either have a layer of the boxes on the bottom and then have the large the large container for more stuff or as you can see everything fits inside just so as you can see there is a little bit of room there so you could probably get uh, two of the medium ones in there and a small one or um, it all depends how how you, you want to do it really so that is the Fox Camo Light aqueous accessory set and uh, definitely one of the better birthday presents I've had what I'm going to do is, I'll get the carry-all for you now, um, and then I will, because at the minute it's still in the box, 
So we'll get out of the box, have a little look, check it out, and then we will, or I will, fill it up, uh, and then we'll have another little look once it's got bits and bobs in it, just so that you can see just how much we can fit in it. Right, my bowers, so here we have the Caro Light Low Level Caro. Um, so this bag was designed to uh, be able to slide underneath your bed chair with ease, allowing you to uh, create that bit of extra space, bit of extra space in the bivvy. Um, plus, by having stuff tucked underneath the bed chair, you're also stopping the cold air come up. So, always an advantage to have the uh, bottom of the bed chair stuffed if you can, as it were. So, we start with the bottom. As you can hear, the bottom is uh, really good. It's rigid, you know. You can you're, you're gonna be able to kick that around the bank if you want, but not that you would start kicking it around the bank. Um, but you you know it's, you're not gonna damage it. It's gonna last years and years and years. So then onto the back there. So we have a strap on the back. Now I don't know about you guys, because um, my barrow is very large. Um, but that will fit over over most barrows over the front bar there um, it just adds a little bit of extra secureness to it so I'm going to whip the large thing off the large carry strap off just to make life a little bit easier but as you can see with all the fox carry handles it's really well padded adjustable in length and the beauty of it is it comes on and off so then we've got our standard carry handles which have got really nice big thick foam foam pads on there's nothing worse than you know if you're carrying something from the car to, to your peg having it digging into your digging into your hands as you're walking along so we start, and again with with this bag, the zips are absolutely top quality. You know, you can sit there opening and closing it all day. You ain't gonna get any issues, even around the you know around the bends there. Everything on the inside of the if I should see if I show everything on the inside is tucked in well away, so there's no chance of you know no chance of anything catching. So, before we get into the main compartment, we have this compartment, and I believe it was designed for the Fox large um, tackle box. I don't use a, a Fox tackle box. Um, I've got the Corda one, um, which for me is, is plenty. But that will fit, um, along with tackle safe and a few other bits and bobs in the top. But... Um, Generally, when you get to the bank, the first thing, you know, the first couple of things you need out is that tackle box. So having it in a separate compartment on the top, I think, is really good. Um, you know, it's a lot better for quick access. So for me, that's a really, really good feature. And again, as you can see, the zips just glide around there. All the compartments have got double zips. Um, so there's no no issues there. Just pull that label off. So then we come to our internal compartment, which as you would expect from a carry-on, decent size. Again, there's that real hard bottom. Um, so you can imagine if the, even if the ground gets you know reasonably damp, you know everything inside there is going to be nice and secure and like i said I'll, I'll load it up in a minute and uh we'll take a look just to see exactly how much how much stuff we can get in it so then moving on to the side both sides i'll only show you the one because both sides are identical 
So both sides have this little mesh pocket, which is great for small packets of bits and bobs. And then it looks really compressed at the minute because it's not ever been open or used, but this pocket comes out, you know, these pockets come out quite far. And there's, there's plenty of room in there for loads and loads of stuff. I mean, you can fit all your PVA products in there because this, as you can see, the material, it's all got that sort of waterproof back into it. I mean, I wouldn't leave it out in the, in the pouring rain for, for days, but it's certainly not going to worry if, if it gets a bit damp on the outside. I can't see that coming through. And the same goes for the... Um, the the accessory packs now i've seen videos of people pretty much holding it under water um and almost nothing's got in sort of not to the point where you you'd be worried about the stuff that's inside it anyway so again on that side i know i said i wouldn't show you but you got the exact same accessory pouch and then there's another little cloth zip so i know you you often see some of like the brand ambassadors doing reviews and, and product reviews on these on on this stuff but obviously a they're paid to do it and b they're quite biased but um i've like i said ever since buying the uh, rod bag i've really fallen in love with the camelite the camelite range um, i mean the rod bag itself is phenomenal i can fit six made up rods so i can turn up at the lake i've got three rods ready to go straight away i've got my spot uh spot marker rod all set up ready um then i've generally got a floater rod um weather permitting um and then you know there's always the option for a fourth rod um a sixth rod sorry not that i've ever needed it but you know the option's there some some places you go I suppose you can fish four rods um but yeah so that's the fox camo light low level tackle bag and if you just bear with me I'll get it filled up and we can take another look and see just how much stuff we can actually get in it happy days right my babbers so welcome back as you can see Thing looks a bit more padded out now so just take you through quickly I haven't stuck loads and loads of stuff in it I've just sort of stuck bits in just to give you an example of uh, the sort of space you've got so in there we've got my tackle box uh, my tackle box my rig safe my chod safe uh, and a couple of back there's just slow on the top there just because I found them on the floor once I thought I'd finished, so then if we go into the main compartment, what I've done is I've separated the accessory pack. So I don't know what you can see there, but in the top there we've got just stuff that you're going to need to hand reasonably quick. So I've got my sh hook sharpener, my bivy light some scales, deeper, boilie crusher, uh, cart care kit, which is one of the first things I try to get out everywhere. Um, some shot, uh, some bits and just general bits and bobs, but as you can see, there's already, you know, there's still quite a bit of room in, in that top section there, should you need it. And then as you can see, everything fits in there quite nicely. So I've got my lead pouch, I'm not going to bother opening the lead pouch. Uh, I'm sure you've all seen leads before. So, we also have in there, at the minute I've just got my, my head torch in there. Because one thing I've found with the uh, Ridge Monkey head torch is the buttons are conveniently placed, one on either side, which is great until you put the thing in your tackle bag. And you get to the lake and find out that it's been on in your bag the entire the entire journey, and uh, it's one of the first things you need to put on charge. So uh, onto 
at the other little bag and in here just got just things like boily starts with some hooks there there's one of these little tools for helping you to secure um, pop-ups to things like chop rigs and whatnot so that's in there and again as you can see you can see through the, the top I don't know whether you can see that but you can see through the top quite nicely uh, so you know which bag you've got to go to straight away so in this one it's got a few packets of bits and there's some more back leads there a few other packets some spare blades for uh, my Stanley knife but again I'll probably end up rearranging all this I'll just put stuff in there just so that you can see how well it all goes together so in the long run um, this stuff's not going to stay in there because I've got a dedicated PVA bucket um, but in there we've got a boiler chopper, a couple of tubes of PVA mesh and a rapid PVA bag system which all fits in there quite nicely and again All zips up, and as you can see, the zips are so easy to use. Uh, and then it all pops back in with relative ease. And as you can see, there's still more room there, so I could probably fit my kettle in there. Although, the plan is to, as I'm upgrading, I should be getting the kind of like two man cooler, which will be able to house all my cooking stuff and food for well that's two man so I imagine you'd be able to get probably a week's worth of food in there um, not that I generally go fishing for that long and then in the sides I've got binoculars and different types of rig material in that side and um, this side I've got two sets of spare bobbins and another set of scales in there just in case it's always good to have a spare set of scales. The last thing you want to do is land fish of a lifetime and uh, realise that batteries have died in one set and you haven't brought your spare. So, so there you go. That is probably going to be rearranged a little bit more than how it is now. Um, a lot of my fishing gear is sort of spread across the garage and uh, needs sorting out properly. But that is, and as you can see, it's got a real nice low profile, so that will slide right under the um, right under the barrow with ease. Not the barrow, sorry. Right under the bed chair without any issues whatsoever, uh, and it's going to be nice and quick to access. The handle on the front means you can just pull it out from underneath, or just grab it from the sides and out it'll pop. So yeah, that's my take on the Camo Light low-level carry-all. Um, keep an eye out because the next review will be on the uh, Camo Light, I suppose it's an accessories rucksack, like a gadget rucksack, um, which has got all my sort of vlogging like bits and bobs in. Um, I think it's a fantastic bit of kit. I know that if I'm going fishing and I intend on doing any for any sort of recording, I've got one bag to grab and a couple of tripods, and that's it. Everything's in it. I think it's actually great. So keep an eye out for that, and I'll uh, hopefully we'll have a fishing video soon to be able to uh, see you on the bank. Happy days. <laughs> <laughs>